This is Rio Ferdinand reacting to the Manchester United loss against Arsenal. He calls out... Me on to Anthony. Anthony. I'm confused. I'm not here to bash players. I know it's his first season. People you need are. to... No, people need to focus. I've, I've learned about saying too much in it. There's been so much Sorry. talk online about these players. Well, I think what he's saying is right. You talk too much about players, they'll come back and bite you in the bum. Plus... You got the other cases, but players who get too much abuse. So we do kind of need to chill. Let's with put this down I on record. Half an hour going in on. All I'm saying, on. no, because I don't want to be wrong, innit? Like, but it's part of football. <laughs> All I'm saying is, Arsenal fans are always wrong. I don't see what that guy offers as a proper out and out winger because as a I've never seen a player struggle to take the ball to to beat a man so much the way he does. And 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 when you look, has he seen the Anthony compilations? He's nutmegging guys, but he's doing all these spins. Anthony can beat a man. Other top wingers in the league, your Grealishes, your Mares, is your Sack. Yo, my my guy said top winner wingers in the league and said Jack Grealish. I'm dead. Is your Martinelli's even Mudrich who came on the other day? Mudrich is a top winner. Okay, already. 30 minutes and he's a top winner. Come on. Direct. He scored against your club on his debut. Salty Arsenal fan. Bang, bang, bang. My man gets the ball, cuts it back inside, slows down play. No, I get what you're saying. With players out, That's the winger that I like. I like those type of wingers also. Think, is this what you pay 190 mil for? This is Man United. You need Jaden Sancho fit back. So yeah, at least do, do, he's a little do. bit more direct. Do, yeah. I don't understand. And, and I feel like Lescott was right last week. If you saw um, the last episode of Bible 5, he said it's almost like he's got to work because if Garnacho comes on and keeps doing what he's doing, it kind of proves that that hundred million we gave you went to waste. So it's like he's trying to make it work. Why didn't we see Garnacho? Yeah. He offered way more. He offers way more. That was the him. only ask that I was sitting there thinking, whoa, mm. he's come on when we've gone three, two down. Like, I, was sitting I don't like that though. I don't like that our only option in big games is to rely on an 18 year old kid. I don't, I don't like rely on it. Like just Fred came on. He doesn't need all that pressure now. He doesn't just, it's not the best thing for his development. And it made us more negative. I'm not saying that he was a, a, the wrong player to bring on because I thought he, his legs was needed at that point. But if you could have brought on a Ganacho at that point as well to give them something to think about on the counter, hundred with Rashford through the middle, mm. then we'd have they, they might not have been as kind of on the front foot against us, thinking we've got to worry a little bit more. But mm. we never asked that question. Um, First, I got a detention today in school because I kicked a guy in my class in the balls because he is an Arsenal fan. It was annoying me. You should not do that, bro. But going back to your point, I mean, I spoke about Andy yesterday. I think there's an ad adaptation period as well. There is. As all players coming from other leagues have to have and need and you need to give them that grace. So next season, I think, is when you judge him. Mm -hmm. I think this season is an ad adaptation. Some players hit the ground running. Some players don't. Listen, he... 100%. Like, I don't like making excuses for players. But Anthony's... Ten Hag has been with Anthony for years at Ajax. He knows what he's all about. He wouldn't go out and splash 100 million on a player who's playing this poorly. He can't actually be this bad. He come in, he's got, right. I think, three and five games in the first part of when he's when He's he got signed. like six but, goals this season. Yeah, but it's it's the other against part you. of that. that against you. Against like, you. So you, when you. Against and, and you and on his debut. The problem he's got, it's Man United. Mm. Man United wingers, you either Beckham, who you're out on your own and do what he done, or you're We're someone who them. runs past people and, and gets people 1v1 True. and hurts people. No, and it's an unfortunate maybe for him that he's that he's being judged by that. True. Because that is the, what the, the ask of a Man United winger. Does that for Brazil yeah, as well. And I feel like that's one at. of the reasons why he, used just, to. he just kept getting subbed off. And as the tournament went, he played less and less. But the only bit of faith... That <sighs> it's not even true. He played more and more as the tournament went on. But carry on. I, I've got faith because of what I saw in an Ajax shirt. Like so you look, sort of gaffer. You look at you look at the Ajax team and the Ajax clips when he was playing in the, in Champions League. Was like, I look good, past I people. look good in highlights, mate. I can beat people in highlights. No, no, but I'm saying you're you beating I mean? people though. But yeah. what I'm saying, where I, I'm not asking, I'm more asking Champions just to go past League people. Football, and I've seen good. him do that for Ajax, so yeah. it's in there. I don't He's think Ten goes as hard for him after spending so much time with him if he doesn't see. Like I've seen enough from Ten Hag to judge to, to trust his judgment on a player, and I think that what we're seeing from Anthony isn't what Anthony's about. I think he's yeah. had four or five games yeah. where he's yeah. been shite. Mm. 
Yeah, and I think that, he would have been dropped had Steve Steve Housen spitting right now. Jaden Sancho been 70-80% mm. there. Which is true. But why not Ganacho though? I'm saying why could he I think he this is a game. A young kid, man. Play 18 soccer. years old, you got to, it's, it's not about just throwing young kids in. When Ronaldo it's came, mate, yeah. Ronaldo came and Ronaldo turned out to what he's not saying Ganacho is that, but he weren't just thrown in and said play every game. Mm. You've got to, he hasn't. I think this was a game where we could have seen him earlier. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. You can't but, use that same weapon every time. People are going to suss about that. He just made his decision. He's got to live and die by that. But he's had said. he's had two poor tactical games, by the way, Ten Hag. Oh, Let's call it out. poor tactical games. Ten Hag literally had the solution to beat you guys. It was literally just individual mistakes that gave Arsenal the win yesterday. Plus a questionable VAR decision. I don't think I it was a, a bad tactical game. I think Thank those you. moments. Was night, we lost those, those 90 those, minute goal. Those moments. Last like, minute winner. Last minute winner. Again. This two, three days rest. Arsenal had a full week rest. Don't come to me about Ten Hag poor tactics. He had limited rest. And look what he did. Went toe to toe with your team. The best team in the world. Three year process for Mikel Arteta. Shush. And I thought exactly what you said. The landscape could have been different with his substitutes. I thought it was really negative. Set he, was well. going, he was going back up the M6, happy with that draw. Like just... Yeah, but I don't think you could say that's a would, tactical... Would, it's not that being then? tactically when he, when he, when he, not, No, no. When he kept on Casemiro against Palace in the 80th minute and you're winning 1-0. Who's just about to sum him off. Because yeah, it's 1-0. You, you know your players, You, you can though. concede and draw. You know your players. Yeah, but... Then, you know okay, 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 you know Casemiro. I'm going to get Tenag on that one. Against Crystal Palace, we needed Casemiro to play. You saw what we're like with my... Tommy went with half the team. Casemiro is more experienced enough to know not to dive into tackles like that. That's not on Tenag, that's on the player. Oh, wait, they're aggressive. Wait, okay. So if, he brings, if he brings off Casemiro, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then Palace score, tactically disgraceful. But how can you do that? You've got to win the game there, there, and then you've got your three points in there. Take them there. Real. You can't win. Yeah. I, the reason why because I say that, the reason, the reason, the reason why I say that, three points against City and lose to you lot. The reason why I say points, that, if you year. look, if you look at that particular game, you look at Palace's midfielders, you look at United's midfielders. Scott McTominay can close the game down for that for ten minutes. He can. Do you know what I mean? And even if he does a rash challenge, he was going to get because subbed because on, bro. It's not just bro. that game. It's the it's literally the before game. he got. And you guys missed him. Other. All banter aside, you missed him massively. Party was afforded to have a not so good game. Right, because Casemiro mm. weren't there. Yeah, but it's not based based on tactical. It is because he didn't make no, he didn't yeah, make yeah, a exactly. change. Yeah, because you, 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 you just want to defend him and just don't want to call him out. No, no, the no, truth. It was Oli. You can't sit there. You can't sit there and go. This is a message for anybody calling out Ten Hag. Anybody who's saying that Ten Hag made mistakes, blah blah blah. You're scared. You are scared of what Ten Hag is cooking at this club because you know that he outplayed Arsenal. His plan was there to defeat you. His players let him down. The rest of the league is shaking. And saying, oh, he's making these mistakes. Come on, come on, chat. What are you saying to save him he for the Arsenal have. game? You can't say you got to win what's in front of you. You t every single manager, every single player going for Champions League. Or so it's this game. Yeah, you can't keep thinking about later on. And this is what why this say? is why Jose. Uh, this is why I'm Jose be on was the, the man. Zip it. Oh, is my man really telling me that Jose Mourinho should have stayed Manchester United manager ahead of? A sign in Ten Hag. Take it one game at a time, lads. Yeah, yeah. one game at a time. <laughs> so how about shut up and take it one game at a time? Oh, when it suits him. I come with a smoke today, you know? Here, you bro. come on. You, you know what, yo, can I just say, show just go on. it was just great. I said in my, um, I think I put it out on my social media about what this game meant. One of the games that we were walking out alongside Vieira. What this game used to mean as a player, like... Mm. The lead up, massive rivalry. The big characters involved. This might sound crazy, but Man United and Liverpool rivalries, obviously, it's the bigger rivalry. We hate each other. We we won the most. We're the most. We're the biggest clubs, most successful clubs. But for me, like in my lifetime, when I've been watching, both Man United and Liverpool have never been good at the same time. It's either Man United dominating, which it has been for the majority, and then Liverpool doing crap. Or it's been Liverpool doing okay and Man United doing really bad. They've never really been going at it at the same time properly. The derbies were always good, but the overall league rivalry was never that there that much. But Man United and Arsenal were always going at it, especially Banner era. It was Banner FC versus Banner FC. Social media derby. We've always had that. But when we're actually good, it means a lot more than than the, than the banner games. Those are just for memes. But now, that game yesterday, that was an exciting game. I, I, you guys who were in the watch along, we were shaking. We were like, oof. 
nervous, nervous. It was good. And if the scheduling wasn't so bad and we actually had a decent amount of days rest, we would have beaten them because Casemiro also wouldn't have got the yellow card and been suspended. What was your Still favorite angry, game man. that you played in against Arsenal? Because we Ooh. had some tasty. You know what good. it was? It was the one. It was one of my early ones. I think we wore a black kit. Giggsy squad. They had I think. Shazy come on at the end and scored the dink. What's that? Black that's, the, that's the Roy Keane the, tunnel one. Yeah, that one was the, was the best one. The, the people, the Roy Keane tunnel moment overshadowed an unbelievable match. Well, I, I, for years, <laughs> I said that was the best Premier League game ever. Mate, it was unreal. 4-2. Ah. Four, 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 two. Two. Shazy oh, come oh on my. and dink the keeper. Unbelievable. Ronaldo, left foot. <laughs> Ronaldo got two great goals. See us so, man. Up. And Shazy come on. I think we went 1-0 or 2-1. You we went 1-0 down, I think, in that Bro, game. Bro, that's Prime Barclays End. right there. Like a basketball it was, it game. Was a, it was a, that, that was the game that I thought, wow, like, these games are different. Do you Do, know the game before that and the reason why it went Burke off? Burke and Pannonry up front. The, uh, the reason it went off in that game and the one beforehand was because of the game when they played in the blue kit at home and everyone kicked the shit out of everyone. Mm. I think Van Nistelrooy scraped one down, Ashley Cole, Gary Neville yeah, tried the, to They were a lot feisty about then. Antonio Reyes, lot of feisty, yeah. got the ball. <clears throat> it was this, right. this time, this time you got Mikel on the side. After Luke Shaw touches one of his players, uh, 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 uh. shush, man. It's a, dark, it's a big game. There's got to be contact. Shut your mouth. That's what the game's about. That game. No, it was before was it. it. Yeah, it was, and that was. Yeah, I remember the players. I just don't I like Gary Neville was saying, "I'm just going to kick him today. I'm just going to kick." <laughs> I, the bro, head. I, th I think he's ch just childish. The answers he gives in his press conferences disrespectful. Why is he actually taking Arsenal to the title? 